Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon The Golden Sea. In our last stream, we finally finished off the uh, fifth trial over in Amber Island. And um, Chef had an intervention, <laughs> for lack of a better term, over his um, whole relationship with Black Fog. Um, and uh, the party finally realized, hey, we should talk about that, but hey, better late than never. And um, then uh, afterwards, they uh, ended up making their way to the Indigo Island for their sixth trial, but they've come to find it completely abandoned, and apparently it had been attacked relatively recently, and they did some investigating to see what's going on only to be interrupted with another trial going team called Team Lightspeed. And they um, were the team from Amber Island that was chosen by uh, Raikou. And after a, a quick little um, uh, quick little fight um, which was then um, uh, put on pause Thanks to the, um, thanks to the Team Lightspeed supervisor, sort of, um, of, uh, Orm the Shuckle, and we decided to partner up and investigate why this place in, has been abandoned in the first place. So, <clears throat> let's make our way to, uh... Lele, just as a heads up, I'm adding that poke edge that we were talking about before. Fine. Go ahead. Yay! Alright. I mean, next time maybe do it before, but you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, I suggested this specific one three hours ago. This is a, um, Jacob moment. Anyways, mm -hmm. so... We fast forward to, uh, actually not fast forward, but just like, you know, we bring ourselves over to both the Dining Dashers and uh, Team Lightspeed are having a little uh, meeting, basically just discussing what their plan of operations is. And they're currently figuring out a plan and just like sharing information from what everyone's learned. And uh, right now, Orm speaks, and he's like, So the perpetrators either could still be on this island, or if they made off in a ship, they couldn't have gotten far. The damage appears too recent, probably a day or two at the most, that this ha the attack occurred. Uh, and then hmm. uh, Racer immediately speaks up. So then what are we doing just sitting around? We have to act now. The more we wait, the further they're going to get away from us. Would anyone like to interject or make a comment or anything like that? Um, what was just said? Um, the, the more you guys wait... The uh, uh, the farther these perpetrators ha can have escaped. He's right about that. How else did we go after them? Uh, Maru speaks up. Yeah, but we couldn't really find anything telling about them. Like, who knows what what kind of Pokemon they were and where they are. We don't even know if they are if they left the island at all. And then Jack speaks up. I suggest that we do some surveillance and look around the island and uh, see if there are any ships nearby or if there are any ships that have recently departed. If we find one, we go after it. Now that sounds like a good idea. Orm speaks up. A wise decision. Uh, a wise decision, Jack. Well, any objections? And Team Lightspeed just like, uh, sort of just like, like shake their heads, no objections, and they're all ready to take off. And Orm goes, very well, then we will, uh, we shall, uh, circle the island, um, 
and uh, we shall depart on in opposite directions and then meet on the other side. And hopefully at least one of us has, uh, is encou has encountered something. Agreed. That sounds like a good idea. All right, let's make our way out. Let's find uh, let's find those townspeople. So, back here we have um, we have uh, the, uh, the the island, and we have your guy your your ships, both Team Lightspeeds and Dine and Dashers. Which dire which direction would you guys like to go? Would you like to uh, investigate this coastline or the lower coastline? Hmm. What do we know about those? The, the, if anything. What? Oh, both coastlines? Do we know anything about them? Yeah. Not really. Like, uh, again, the most you know about this entire island is that it's inhabited primarily by ghost type Pokemon. There's, like, nothing. Uh, and, like, uh, it's, it's relative. Which side did we land on initially? You guys came, like, around here, so basically these are your ships, and you guys are basically on this upper corner. Gotcha. Um, let's say, like, yeah, like, I don't know, on the north half. So, okay. uh, it's already where we've already been, at least, so okay. might as well just stay here. Okay. If that sounds good to everyone else. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So, uh, you guys decide to take the uh, north route, and Team Lightspeed will go the southern route. And you guys... Start making your way through, and Team Lightspeed goes down, and uh, after just like a few, after a few hours of uh, surveilling, uh, of just like uh, inspecting, um, Misha, give me a perception check since you're a lookout. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. Oh. You are able to spot in the distance some dark uh, structure uh, in the um, in the distance, and as you're slowly making through, you can definitely tell that it's a ship. Oh. <clears throat> oh. So I see a ship up ahead, but is definitely is definitely like. Like, down with it. All right. So, uh, after some time, you eventually get a better. Um, what? Uh, did I accidentally pull up the turn order? <laughs> did I jump scare you guys? No. Yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. That's not. I. I meant to do something else. Oh uh, yes. Surprise. Su surprise. Ocean. Not a naval battle. <laughs> Nautical battle. All right. Uh, okay, so, uh, you guys, uh, walk over and, uh, not walk over, uh, and then you eventually get a closer look, and this ship in particular, Misha, as soon as you're able to really distinguish any, uh, spot any distinguishing features, uh, hold on, <sighs> why am I getting pained? Uh, one sec. If that was what Jack said, he also said to... It can wait until after the stream. Yes, yes, I know, I saw it. As soon as you're able to def uh, see any defining features of the ship, a dark chill crawls up your spine. Not like a chill from when you guys first reach the ice caps. No, this is more... Ethereal, more supernatural, more like the chill or that you got. Black felt. fog vibes. Yes, when you were in the Forbidden Forest. <gasps> Whoa! I, I, I take it Jacob just noticed this. Yep. You can see that stretching out, like the the area behind it is actually very has a lot of dense fog, and so it's uh there's it's there's a bit of fog coming up from it. And so, yeah, and it seems to be, it's facing dire the direction away from the island and is slowly trudging away, but it seems to be taking its sweet old time. Sure. 
should we try should we try to hail it um i'm getting the vibe that would not be our best option but i don't know if we have much of a choice it seems to be patrolling yeah. could i could i shout to it don't i don't know if it'll ja hear you ja ja and also bad idea jack speaks sub don't i think we should uh We'll anchor on, uh, we'll anchor off at this, uh, at this coast and wait for the others to catch up. It must, it must okay. have come from the mysterious cloud island up, the, up above. Hmm, that place. I don't, it's possible, but. Wait, I said that as a joke. Wait, that, that that's actually a possibility? Uh, I mean, he's like. I don't remember what that what that place was, what that place used to be called, but it's been uninhabited for centuries now, and it's it, that, that fog. That's just uh, that's just the outside of an, of an inner storm. No ship has been able to to survive even uh, making contact with the land there. Noted. These guys came from there, and then we're in for quite a fight. So you guys decide to, I guess, stake out, and the the ship doesn't like leave, or it doesn't um uh it doesn't like get too far, uh, and then eventually your compatriots uh catch up to you guys. And you're able to um, to share details and continue uh, and uh, further plan out a strategy. And so, just to skip out all the fluff, and also so I don't have to keep constantly changing in and out of uh, roll twenty slides. Here's what's going to happen: the uh, team Lightspeed is going to enter the uh, ship first do uh, reconnaissance, surveillance, and then take care of any guards or any outer patrolsmen. And then the Dine and Dashers will go in and try to find any uh, uh, signs of uh, the towns, uh, the Pokemon from uh, Indigo <coughs> Village. Sounds which well, means, sounds good to me. which means for this little, little part, we're gonna do the same thing we did with the Kansai crew, and we're gonna make Team Lightspeed playable. You guys have the choice between Maru, the Grassland Electrode, Racer, the Excelgore, and Proteus, the Drac, the Dracloak. Feel free to I'll pick take which Proteus. one. All right. Which one's the support of the team? Uh, um, if someone would like to take the Electrode to have some fun being Electric type. That'd, that'd be so cool. I mean, I mean, I can. I I'm a big fan of the Grassland Electrode, but uh, which one I'm... is the which one is the support of the team? I don't. Ooh, what if what Wait, if Jacob uh... plays the fast sweeper guy, the Electrode, and I play a more supportive thing? So you know cool. what? Sure, I will play. I will play the Hisuian Electrode. All right. Sure. W. All right. Who does that leave me? Is that the Excelgore or yes. the uh, you got, Dragapult? Because you you I got... cannot see everyone. You got the Excelgore. Or the Dracolag. Okay, gotcha, Dracula. gotcha. All right, so you got the Excelgore. Let me just update everyone's um, permissions. permissions. So uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of time to look over the um, their uh, respective character sheets, see what uh, you guys were up against <laughs> last session. I just see you put Leaf Storm on Maru. That's pretty standard. Oh, instead of Chloroblast, though. Yeah. Mm hmm. Trust me, you'd However, much rather have Maru Leafstorm. has run out of Chloroblast because Maru used it in the previous battle. Yeah, we can just say theoretically it was a full rest. Also, it's Chloroblast. Save it for last resort. Um, exactly. Okay, so Chloroblast is still available? Yeah, now? yeah, it's fine. It's, especially since okay. it, didn't, it hardly did anything in the last battle, except cut her HP in half. Alright. Alright. So y'all need some time to look over the uh, the stats, or ready to start the surveillance? 
Uh, uh is water shirk water shirk and list five strike because uh it's going to always hit five strikes no or... okay oh boy all right so five strike moves i was are like interesting it seems kind of yeah no it's a priority it's... five strike if it got loaded dice kind of insane yeah oh my god um five strike is just the type of word it is let me uh pull it gotcha the... is it a different type... actually roll for each uh sort oh, of actually let i can me... test that yeah, let me no, no no let me just I can check just... Okay, Let me gotcha. just check the uh, keyword uh, da, 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 five strike. Okay, so what's gonna happen is anytime you're about to use the move, uh, you roll a one d eight, and um, essentially what that what that means is actually hold on, I gotta edit uh, water shuriken because I still had it from the previous battle. Anyways, so um, basically you roll a one d eight and. Depending on the result, that's how many times it hits. If it's a one, the attack hits one time. Uh, if it's a two or a three, the attack hits two times. Four, five, or six, it's three. Seven is four, and then a nat eight is it hits five times. And so essentially, what this hey. means is that the the, the the damage base of the move that is uh, that like water shuriken, its damage base is two. That's just for one hit. If it, uh, if you're able to roll an eight on that roll, then you increase the damage base to ten. Gotcha. And if you had skill link, then you could just automatically bring it up to a damage base of ten. But it's limited on how many times you could use, as we saw with when Roosevelt joined us. Yeah. So every Imagine time you... they gave a water shark into a cloister too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Icicle shard and uh, yeah. Icicle shard nightmare. and water shark in? Both stab. I mean, to be fair, it's special stab. That's not ideal, yeah. but still. But also, um, uh, it's it's both uh, multi-hit oh, and uh, priority, which uh, yeah, closer. We need two separate moves to do that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so okay, there's some things that aren't complete on this. So I gotta fix uh, what was I gonna say? In that case, um, is everybody ready? Oh, I'm just mm -hmm. I'm just fixing Maru's sheet because you forgot to put in some things. What? Like what? Like what? The damage for Swift. Did I? Did I for really? You for did. Gore? I for Gore? Huh. That's weird. I right, used it last battle. I think that right I now. think this is a roll twenty moment in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. I, I have all my damages, so we're all good. All right. There we go. Okay. So it's damage this, base six. Yeah. I'll put this that is in. what happens when you um. Uh, stay up till midnight doing extra life and then wake up yeah, real. right before 7 to do more extra life and then do not go back to sleep and just work on the session all day all I've had to eat today has been two bagels <laughs> so real Yep. Okay. I had a lemon cake and then bur burger burger, burger. yeah nice. I'm currently Eating what I think is a lollipop from Alyssa. Oh yeah, because she, she got, got made goodie bags life. for all the e-board. Uh, by the way, yeah. hope everyone enjoyed Extra Life yesterday. Actually, hold up. Mm -hmm. of Let me pull up the. Such the a stream. long day. Absolutely. Okay, stream is going well. Uh, okay, and now let's make our way to the ghost ship. So, Mario, Racer, and Proteus ha make have made their way onto this uh, onto the ship. Orm is following at a slight distance and is just and is currently observing. Oh, there we go. And the three of them feel this uh, are just completely like weirded out about this place. Gives me the creeps. And Proteus is like, I don't know, I kinda like this. Of course, yeah, this is like some this is some sort of ghost ship. It makes sense why you would like that, but I don't know. Be quiet, both of you. We need to focus. And just as uh and just as he says that, uh several spectral um uh, spots uh, in front of them form and 
many uh, ghost-type Pokemon emerge, staring at all of them, and they all uh, uh, sinisterly. Well, look we, who we have here. A few stowaways. Trespassers must be gotten rid of. Hmm. Maybe we should just throw them into the dungeon like the rest of them. Nah, let's get rid of them right now. And, uh, uh, Racer's like, Oh, I'd rather prefer a fight than just having to, uh, than just having to surrender. Let's do this. So, y'all ready to battle as, um, y'all ready to battle as Team Lightspeed? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. All right, here we go. And so we're going to do things a little differently here. So first, um, actually, I'm going to turn down Bongo on my end. It's a little loud for me personally. Uh, this might just be a Sonic Mania soundtrack moment. But hey, it's a banger, so. All right. Okay, and we're back. So, we're going to do things a little in, uh, differently here with uh, this. So first, add your guys' um, uh, uh, speeds to the turn counter. Zoom. Yeah. Also, uh, 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 Jack, have you checked the funky little thing with Racer in particular? That may or may not uh, Ooh, be related to the funky speed. Thing. The ability? Let me double check that again. Uh, nothing's immediately standing out. No. How about a combination of his ability, uh, his ability and held item? Ability and item? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. So, what we're going to do is um. Oh yeah, I need to actually finish reading the description. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> Oh, wait, it's combat stages. Ooh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, I'm noticing Never mind. as well. Oop. That's not a... Th mm. That's, uh... Oh, my God. This isn't... Uh, okay, so... Oh, for, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. I, I need to read the full paragraph before I do the paragraph. Yeah, yep. There we go. Boink. There we go. Yeah, you don't get the funky little speed boost until after you lose your, your, your thing. Jack reads before assuming what I already know what it says. Challenge. Um, I failed. Uh huh. So we're gonna we do things a little. Physical attackers or special attackers? Um. So we're gonna... I'm kind of mixed. All right. So things are gonna function a little uh, in a little funky way with this horde battle. What's gonna happen is that uh, all of these guys uh, are going to attack, and um, it'll just be a simple. Uh, like attack roll and if they beat your evasion then what's gonna happen is that you will just lose um, you'll lose uh, just immediately take an injury as in you'll lose 25% of your health um, however when you go and attack them depending on how well you do that is how many of these Pokemon you'll you'll knock out because you can tell that these Pokemon they you know their strength is in their numbers. Individually, they're pretty weak. Yeah. So. Bar like the Frost Lass, which is already yeah. a glass cannon. So. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, can we uh, change my initiative order? I, uh, it did not update their correct number, and then I correctly updated it. I thought your. What was your. It's two stages. Uh, it's a. It, since you're holding an item, your combat stage. It's it's nine. It's zero. minus two stages, I believe, or is it minus one? No. It's, yeah, it's lowered by two. It's lowered by two, therefore meaning that your combat stage is going. Okay, here's the thing. With oh, a... the default. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah. I figured. Oh, okay. I figured With... it was like a huge nerf and then a huge no, buff. Gotcha. Uh, no, Never mind. absolutely not. <laughs> Excel Gore does w. not need that much. He of does a not nerf. need a nerf. Yeah, absolutely um, not. No. But yeah, so, yeah, with that, it's just that its default speed is plus two. Uh, but then if it's yeah, holding an item, that gets lowered back to zero. The normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, horde number one is going to attack. And uh, 
All right. <laughs> that one. We're off to a great start. So Maru oh. gets uh, surrounded by a, a whole bunch of ghost types and just like Dragon Ball Z style just proceeds to dodge every single one of them. Racer, you're up. Mm hey, fun. Let's see. So I'm targeting them as just a mass, right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Mm oh. Uh -huh. How does that affect type effectiveness? Consider everything neutral. Or actually, these gotcha. are all ghost types. So. So just consider a pure ghost. Yeah, pretty much. I guess. Yeah. Basically, okay. all that's just gonna mean, for the most part, is that damaging normal type moves are uh, will do no damage. Gotcha. Just to keep wow, things simple. Thing doesn't matter. Got it. Okay, so Ghost normally does resist bug. Can I, like, are we ignoring that, or? Uh, there, there are two grass types in that horde, so yeah, uh, the one in okay, front cool. of you. So, yeah, that'll be fine. Cool. Uh, W. Let's see, then. which one do I want to pull? <laughs> that. I will let you guys know that these guys have an evasion stat of 3, so as long as you're... Uh, rolls beat a three, then it will hit. Just to be clear on that. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna go for... Well, let me check my base stat again, and then I shall click hit. Okay, my special attack is slightly higher. Uh, we're just gonna go right off the bat. Can I click the move, please? There we go. That okay, should update. meets it, beats it. All right, and let's see. That's pretty, pretty decent roll. So we'll say that definitely. So, um, okay, that's a cone of two. Um, let's see how many of those is it gonna mess up? Oh uh, wait, hold on. Like pretty much, uh, you'll have to get in closer to be able. Okay, to yeah, let me do that. I just realized. Oop. Yeah. Um, I shall scooch. Um, that's close, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let me actually. How do I do a cone test, actually? Uh, so you oh, know actually, the... I'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. You know the the uh, ruler that lets you measure stuff, so you can actually change uh -huh. the shape. It's default at line, but you're able to do yeah. different shapes like circles and squares and things like that. Interesting. Make oh. sure when you do cone, select the checkbox that says that it makes the base equal to the body. Gotcha. Um. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, that would, that, where's yeah. the option to specifically change the shape? Uh, just click on the thing that says line, and then it'll show up a list. Ah, uh, there we go. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'll say from this point, you can hit, uh, well, I mean, you, you're gonna hit these guys, it's just... Let's yeah. See. Okay, and then, uh, how many of these do you guys, do you end up wrecking? You, oh, first of all, um, since it's a bug time, you, you definitely wreck the Phantop and, uh, Gorgeist. Or, actually, I'm gonna... Uh, ah, uh, oh, crap. Uh, no. Roll 20 is being weird. Okay. I stuck a purple line on that thing on accident. <laughs> <laughs> um, crap. Hold on. Let me just. Because there's. The only option I see under the ruler are snap to center, not snap to center, and show mm. others, basically. Uh, uh, so I shall pull up the shortcuts reference thing and figure it out, hopefully. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hold on. Nah, that's not going to be it. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, sorry, roll, this is a roll 20 moment. So you definitely get rid of those two. Who else would you get hit? Um, I'd say definitely also the Yamask. Uh, and um, you've successfully in just one, in one blow, uh, cut this, uh, little cluster of ghost types in half. Next up is mm -hmm. Maru. Alright. Let's do this. 
Maru is going to use... Hey, do you guys want a good... Do you guys want an increase to your special attack? Sure. Yeah. Maru is going to... Let's see, how close... You're like, one, two, three, four, five, and go over here. So if you guys are within five feet of me. And I'm going to use this thing here called confident. Ooh, I'm okay. gonna choose I'm going to choose special attack for it. Alright. You two so... get a bonus to your special attack. Jacob always uh do it uh playing the support role even when he's in not, not the support base. Support. Yep. Alright. So um Okay. So now the second cluster is going to uh, attack uh, Racer, but they're going to roll a disadvantage since half of their group is gone. Okay, that is still going to hit. Um, so Racer, oh. now you have uh, lost a quarter of your hit points. And then next up is... Proteus. Oh. Actually, hold on. I haven't even made your. Uh... No, ah, okay, I have a nice little point I just hope you won't hit. And I. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, and since that is... Okay, first of all, you got a 10 in that, and since that's ghost type, that just it is obviously super effective. So you pretty much just annihilate every single one of these guys, all but the uh, <laughs> the Mimikyu, uh, who's disguised by... Oh, disguised. <laughs> yeah, it's the only one left. Um, I don't have the icon ready for it though, but you know, you can imagine it with its doll head just lopsided, and then it's going to try to uh, attack you. And however, it's gonna roll at double disadvantage because it's by itself. Three. <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! Not one. Yeah, it just flops over right in front of you. All right, now for the uh, the first uh, group to attack. Um, Jack, uh, you there? Uh, I am in fact there. I just figured out how to. Apparently, this entire campaign, I have had a fraction of the toolbar I was supposed to have, so that's fun. Oh I yeah, just it, it hadn't fully updated for you, hadn't it? It it was there. It just untoggled the UI redesign button. Oh, that, oh. Dang. Like, by default. That's... So, I didn't have to update. I just had to click the toggle, which I didn't know existed. That's But, crazy. you know, interesting. We figured it out at some point, eventually, uh, so. Yep. Alright, so change your change your image back to the... I uh, know. And also, be sure to... Uh, well, technically, actually... I could be Racer. Yeah. Oh, no, it says my well, name. Yes, Never mind. No, no, I... no, no, no. It, it says my name, unfortunately. I cannot do that. If you guys want... Yes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You sure, yeah. sure why not? Yes. I'm the Hisuian Electro. Uh, yeah. Hisuian? Hisui does what is... not exist. His... Yeah, yeah. The what... special electrode. The grassland the better electrode. One. That's what they're called. In this context. No ground the wooden weakness? electrode. Mm -hmm. Alright, also just to okay. let you know. Um, did the, uh... What's happening to Jack? What? Racer lost what do you say? a quarter of his hit points, just letting you know. Oh, uh, yeah, from the, uh, they missed, I guess? Uh, well, the or, uh, second group hit you, but, yeah. It's not... Tragic. Well, now I can't lose my item. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately. But you guys are okay for the most part. All right, this okay, group cool. is going I mean, to... I'll be fine either way. I'll be fine either way, but, um, All right. it would have been so funny. Yeah. All right, this okay. group is going to try to attack Maru. All right, and, um... That doesn't hit, I think. Let's see. Uh, I have a, a speed of 25, so I should have an evasion of 5. 
Uh, check yep. your character sheet. Yeah, yeah. So you just yeah yep. yeah. Once again, Maru is just rolling away from all from these guys. All right, racer, you're up. Alrighty. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, the Hone Edge is really not gonna care what I do. Um. I'm probably, to be honest, uh, considering there, there's two water resists in there. I think it's fair to say I'm not gonna use the water move. Uh, and click my funny struggle bug again. Are you aiming for, um, for the? Actually, let me reposition cluster? very slightly, like. Mm. Okay. And then uh, I can now use the tool, which I didn't know how anyone was how anyone was doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. W. Uh, there we go. Let me just in the general group. There we go. I got rid of that line that you drew accidentally. Yeah. All right. So that will definitely um, will definitely uh finish off the ghastly and the frillish, and the hone edge is still yeah. holding on. I figured it Remember, would. Remember, yeah. you had a you, your special attack was increased. It was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. How many stages? By one. Uh, one. okay. Well, cool. That just add one point, so won't change the KO. Actually, it'll add how many points? Like probably two or three. But uh, well, right. just increase the step stage for now. All right. There we go. Maru. We added four. That still probably wouldn't have changed it. Yeah. All right, Maru, you're up. 